So, I've got a new guitar. This is a Seagull. It's an Entourage model. Rustic is the next little level on its naming. And strangely enough, this is now my go-to guitar. It is everything I want in a guitar, from playability to sound, what have you. I never would have expected this guitar to uh, influence my playing as much as it has. And I haven't had it for that long. But I've been looking for a certain sound, I've been looking for a certain feel in a guitar. And I just never thought I'd find that in a dreadnought body and in a ridiculously inexpensive guitar. Uh, the Seagull guitars, if you haven't heard of them, they're part of the Godin brand. Godin is a French-Canadian company. As you know, I'm a Canadian expat, so um, I didn't really think I'd be circling back to something like this, but uh, it's really a really great find as a guitar, and it plays wonderfully. So this is basic. There is as basic a guitar as you can get. It does have electronics on it. It's got the Godin brand name electronics. They're great, sound fabulous, seem to work just fine. The neck is incredible, feels really nice. It's, for me anyway, it's thin, it's flat. Um, it's, it carries a good low action to it. I've got 11 strings on it, uh, number 11s, 1152s I think is the right uh, designator for it. I changed the strings as soon as I got it, simply because I swear whoever it is at Guitar Center who puts strings on guitars has no idea of what they're doing, and it's just easier to change them out. So we did that. Um, but the guitar is absolutely beautiful and uh, plays like a dream. So I'm really impressed with the way this thing works. Now, I'm not sure I can give a full review on this guitar because I haven't really had a chance to compare it to all the other models and all the other pieces. I know I've picked up uh, Seagull guitars when I've been up at Guitar Center at various times, and they weren't the Dreadnought style. I really kind of avoided the Dreadnought type guitars. I'd played them, but they didn't really work for me, I didn't think at the time. But I started playing out more, and I needed a guitar with just a little bit more power when I'm playing out. Something where I can really hear what's going on right with the guitar as I'm playing with it. So. This is starting to, to fill that need for me in a, in a really big way. It's got the power to hear, no matter what else is going on in the room. And the playability and the, the sound is just fantastic. So this has really become uh, almost the epitome of what I've been looking for in terms of an acoustic guitar. And again, something I really wasn't expecting um, uh, from this particular guitar. So is there anything special about the guitar? Well, not really. Um, it has a little bit of a shorter scale length. It's more, it's closer to a Gibson scale length than say a Fender. Fender's usually about 25 and a half uh, inch scale length. The Gibson's are around 24. Uh, 0.75 or 0.8 and this is kind of right in that category so it makes for a very playable fret spacing at least for my size hands and and how I like to play um, the appointments on the guitar are very very nice there's all kinds of little extra bits like they've rounded down the fretboard at the front end uh, something that I hadn't seen in a lot of guitars so I, I really like that there's absolutely perfect frets on them there is no uh, nothing that's going to cut you or, or nick you, so it's perfectly fine. Uh, I bought the guitar used. There's almost no wear on the frets, so this was one of those guitars that kind of hung around, I think, and didn't know what to do. From what I can tell, it's a 2019 model, and I'm buying this in 2024. So it's been around for five years or so. Uh, the only thing that was really not the way I wanted it when I got the guitar is it had a pick guard on it. and kind of a crappy looking pick guard and it had kind of shifted over the years a little bit and so you know for 10 minutes worth of work and a little bit of rubbing uh, the pick guard's now gone there's a little bit of a, a mark so you can see where the pick guard was I may eventually put another pick guard on but I actually like a guitar without a pick guard so I'm, I'm not feeling uh, uh, too rushed to try to do that um, and so I'm going to be playing this out this weekend I'm going to see how it actually um, works in a mix but it is a, a, an absolutely beautiful um, addition to um, my collection, if you like. And this may just be the end of my collecting process. I may be buying more seagulls, but I'm probably not looking for a, a lot of different guitars. This is, this is everything that I can say I'm looking for uh, in a guitar. It is a set neck, um, the electronics. Uh, it's an undersaddle electronics. 
Um, I might change some of the little appointments on it, but so far everything about this guitar is just everything that I want, and the sound is just to die for.